Family is everything to me. Uh, probably because I come from a big family. I have two parents who are still together. I have three older siblings. Um, at the time, I had four grandparents. Um, and I have 12 immediate cousins, six aunts, two uncles. Um, maybe because I'm the youngest in my family is the reason why I'm so dependent on them. Um, and um, I will never forget the day when I got the call that my grandma, my mom's mom, passed away. I lived in London at the time and I hadn't seen or talked to her for two whole months. And that still today breaks my heart that I didn't get the chance to say, well, I didn't make the effort to pick up the phone and call her and, and tell her how amazing she is or she was. Um, she was the ultimate grandma. She um, she was she was just how a grandma should be. She was she was short and she was round. She had she had gray short hair. Um, she knew everything that there's to know about plants and and flowers and shrooms. And she always cooked and cleaned. And she always always worried about us, the kids. She was always worried about me, what I was, what I was doing, and, and things like that. And I remember um, after she passed away, how much it hurt inside, and how I thought that that pain would never, ever, ever go away. But what hurts me today is that I um, I don't think about her every day anymore. And I'm afraid that I will forget about her. And I'm mad at myself that I don't think about her every day. Maybe it's a, you know, defense mechanism of the body and the mind because it's too painful. And especially since I, I didn't get to say everything that I wanted to say to her. Um, but she was an amazing person and she was the kindest that you could ever imagine anyone to be. She never said anything mean to anyone and I wish that I would have taken the time and effort to tell her that.